Hi, I'm Johnny from Johnny's Motorcycle, and for sale here we have a 2001 Yamaha YZ426. Uh, this was kind of like the first, you know, big four-stroke modern motocrosser they had that was, you know, that was water-cooled. So this one's got a lot of really cool parts on it, and we'll go over that more in detail a little bit later in the video. But we just want to show you that it runs. I was just riding it around a little bit, so it's a little bit warm still. These are notoriously hard to start when they're warm. So see if we can. Uh, Make something happen pretty good here. Good. Put the gas on, put the hot start on. Be nice for a little collection, a little man cave. This bike has some pretty cool parts on it here. It's got some nice radiator braces, it has a lot of carbon fiber covers. Uh, the airbox is also carbon fiber, the clutch cover is carbon fiber. Um, part of the skid plate down here is carbon fiber. It's got EMIG clamps and EMIG, EMIG bar, bar clamps as well. It's got nice gold rims with some talon hubs. It says White Brothers all over it. I don't know if the suspension was done by White Brothers or not because I didn't take it apart to find out. But it does have a White Brothers pipe. It's got a it's got a very nice uh, rear caliper guard right here, as you can see. Nice chain guide, nice metal chain guide. It's got some nice blue hoses, oil filter cover. It's got a Boyesen water pump cover. I don't know if the actual water pump itself is Boyson or not, because I didn't put it in. It's got brand new grips on it. It's got some nice blue levers here. And nice gas cap with a nice vent. Some pretty cool stuff if you're into that. It runs really good for what it is. It also has a nice screw here for the air fuel adjuster. On the bottom, it's got a nice like quick turn or something, something they call it like that, so you don't have to sit there with a small screwdriver. So it's pretty cool. I uh, changed the oil on it. It's got new coolant, you know, obviously new oil filter too. I took the clutch apart to make sure none of the plates were sticking. And, you know, I adjusted the valves, made sure the clearances were good because if you don't do that, they're almost really impossible to start these old big four strokes. But this thing's fun. It's got a really nice sound to it. Oil goes in the frame. That's pretty cool too. So most of them aren't like that anymore, but it's kind of neat. So it's also got uh, some frame protectors on it. It's pretty cool. Also for like grip, if you're going over a jump or something, it's pretty cool to be able to grip the bike a little better. Also has a brand new air filter in it, clean the carb out. And like I said, it starts pretty easy when it's warm. These are notoriously hard to start, especially when they're warm. So that's a really good sign for it. And also I forgot to mention as I was working on it, front brake works good right now, but it looks like somebody stripped out a screw at one time. I don't think it epoxy it or jb weld or something i didn't mess with it because the front brake's not sticking and it's stopping really good so that you might want to look at it in the future the front forks are also leaking just a little bit i didn't even try to clean them off or mess with them at all so it might be something you want to check into but overall i think it's a really solid bike i took off the seat to show you here's the bbr i've never seen one of these subframes you can see how beautiful these welds are it's really cool with the carbon fiber air box new air filter like we talked Something I also wanted to talk about was when when I started working on this bike, it was leaking coolant. So I replaced the water pump and power shaft with the bearing that goes in there and the two seals. You know, you got one that, you know, for the oil, one that for the water. So all that's replaced, so it's no longer leaking coolant, which is great. And obviously we changed the fluids after that so they're not contaminated. 
So it should be good. It's got a lot of new OEM Yamaha gaskets for all the parts I worked on as well. It also has brand new valve guide seals as well. I did that because I had to head off, put new brand new OEM Yamaha valve guide seals. So this would be a pretty cool bike to either ride or kind of just put in your man cave. These bikes are getting kind of hard to find now. It's kind of cool to pay, you know, tribute to the modern motocrossers we have. This is kind of where they started. So, so we'll be offering it. It could possibly help out with local delivery or if we have a trip planned, we can see. So good luck. Let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to answer.